So you want to learn how to do water splash photography, do you? <laughs> no, not that kind. This kind. Stay tuned and find out how I took this picture. See you in a minute. Hi there and welcome back. Um, if you've seen the shot in the intro of the three wine glasses of the coloured liquid in, it's one of my more popular shots. When I first uploaded it onto F-Stoppers, it became photo of the day and it's won me a few little prizes as well. It's a very nice uh, clean shot and uh, today I'm just going to show you how I did it. It was a, an experimental shot that came out straight away, I was really pleased about. Uh, but first of all, I'm just going to show you some of the stuff that I'm going to use to put this shot together. And the first thing is first is right is the wine glasses. So three wine glasses. Uh, I'm just going to clean these up before I take the shot. So we've got these. Uh, we're going to need some let's have a look. food colouring. You can use any colour. I'm going to use red. Um, I'll say stick to one colour, and I'll show you why later. Cable release, make sure you have a, a cable release, that's going to help. I'm going to be shooting this with a, a Nikon 85 1.8. I'm going to use two Yongyo 4 flash guns. There we go, uh, they're manual flash guns because I'm manually working uh, manual as well. These are very, rel relatively cheap. I think you can still pick them up for about £45 each. Um, for this shot I'm going to do, you can get away with one, but I'm going to use uh, two. Uh, to trigger these, I'm going to use the Wyan, uh, what is it, the 560TX trigger on my Nikon uh, D750, which I'm filming with at the moment. But, uh, I'm going to use that for the shot. So there's that. Uh, a background sort of clamp, which uh, you can use. to move around and uh, it's not for a background which I'll show you what I'm going to use that for in a minute which is quite handy also you can see my background here a white collapsible background I've put behind the table uh, some perspex uh, I'm going to use some black perspex for the reflectiveness uh, you can pick these up off Amazon for about five or six pounds uh, and I think this is an A3 size you get them in any color so you check Amazon that that's quite good um, also I'm going to show you what else we need Oh, there we go. I'll show you this. It's a, a skateboard. So I bought this for the original shop, but it's been sitting in the garden for probably about a year, two years. But I paid, I think I paid about five pounds for this. So I'm gonna use that. And also a homemade sort of ramp. Um, you're gonna see why when I put this all together. Um, it's just three planks of wood, which are sort of taped together with gaffer tape. So you get out there. So there are three planks of wood taped together with gaffer tape and just some blocks of wood at the end. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to put the perspex on top of the skateboard and we're going to tape the glasses to the perspex and then we're going to put this ramp up at a low height and then what we're going to do, we're going to use this and let go of the skateboard it's going to hit the bottom and the liquid is going to make the splash it is a very hit and miss but um i'm going to show you how to do this with manual flash guns if you know like me if you haven't got high speed sync um, and all that you know really expensive equipment i'm going to show you how to do this with uh, manual flash guns um, and basically you're going to illuminate uh, your shot just with the flash you can have no ambient light so we're going to i'm waiting for it to get dark now we're going to cut out all the ambient light um, and then we're going to use a long exposure, but we're going to use the popper flash to illuminate the shot and capture the liquid moving. So uh, let me pull it all together. Uh, come back in a second, you can see it all set up. So I'll see you in a minute. So there's two things I forgot to mention um, that you needed on top of everything else, quite important that every photographer should have in their bag gaffer tape and blue tack, and very important uh, to this shot that I've done that I've put up here. So Make sure you have them in your camera bag as well. So now I've got that out of the way, I'm just going to show you 
the setup. So I've got my Nikon D750, I've got an 85 millimeter lens on there, fixed focal length. I've got my cable release just dangling down here. The YN560 TX trigger. I've got two Yongyo flash guns on the table here pointing at the background and these are both set at um, 128th power. Uh, and the reason you want as the lowest power possible is because the exposure is determined by the flash guns themselves uh, and the lower the power uh, the faster uh, the flash duration which means when you capture things like liquid it'll make it um, more clearer and in focus and stuff and it'll freeze the motion a lot better so i've got two of these flash guns pointed at the background to illuminate that um, as you can see here's the background uh, sort of grip sort of thing for uh, backgrounds holding backgrounds on the stand but I've used it to hold my ramp so I've got this to the ramp attached to the ramp and then as you can see the angle sliding downwards um, and I've got uh, I've also sort of put gaffer tapes put it onto the, attach it to the table as well and the good thing about having it on the light stands I can high and lower the ramp for to change the speed and how hard the, the ramp hits the block at the bottom to get the splash effect um, I've set, sort of put gaffer tape and also um, I've put a blue tack underneath the uh, perspex uh, to stop it slipping and put some gaffer tape on there so that's fixed to the skateboard and now all I've done because we need to composite shots together for this I've put blue tack on each of these glasses empty um, so they're stuck in place so the next stage is basically is to do the exposure turn the lights off and take a picture of the three glasses on uh, the black perspex so let's do that quickly so I've got my cable release Ooh. there we go so oh. so there's there's my exposure there for the three glasses um, now we've got to put this together so the next stage of this is uh, the gaffer tape again and what we need to do is uh, use this gaffer tape and we need to fix these glasses now to the perspex because we don't want them to move because uh, when the skateboard comes down the ramp it's going to smash into the bottom if these weren't fixed uh, to the perspex then uh, they'll just fall over or smash so I'm just going to Gaffer tape these all on, make them nice and sturdy. So that shot I just took a minute ago was my base image. Right. I just want to give you one other piece of device which uh, sort of I've sort of messed up a little bit on is but I've already gaffer taped it to the table. It's always trying best to get this a bit closer to the background. Um because basically I've tried to move the camera higher to get more of the reflections in the perspex, but unfortunately the angle, you can see the back of the table. So that's uh, sort of ruined that a bit. And uh, I didn't want to move it now, but if you have it closer to the background, you can get the camera in a bit closer and a higher angle to get the reflectiveness on your, your reflective surface. So that's uh, one tip there. So the next thing is basically we're all set up to go. And I'll just show you what happened. So I'd pulled the skateboard up and then just let go and as I hear it here at the bottom with the lights off I'd press the shutter release and the flash would illuminate the glasses but first of all we need to uh, get our liquid in the glasses like I said I'm going to be using some coloured or food colouring just a bit of water right so make up one batch of food colouring I'll just quickly pull it in let's get some kitchen towel just in case spill some So basically we're going to put the same amount if we can in each glass and the thing about this is you can practice doing different amounts for different splashes there we go I mean you could even measure it out individually before and do it let's have a look I think it's a bit more in the middle one and the reason I say use the same color for all three glasses is because like the shot I've done at the beginning of the video uh, you can actually change the colour of the liquid so easily in Photoshop as well but if you're trying to do different colours 
while putting the shot together it makes it really a lot more difficult so what I'm going to have to do is I'll turn the lights off in a sec and then I'd have my cable release and what I do is I pull the skateboard up in the dark release it as soon as I hear it hit the block at the bottom I'm going to press uh, the shutter release and then we'll have a quick look at the picture and see how it comes out so I'm just going to have to turn the video light off some darkness so here we go ah. so I'm going to pull the ramp up get ready release and then uh, like I say it is experimental you do have to try quite a few times and let's have a quick look see if uh, that came out any good uh, yeah it's not too bad um, don't know if you can see that I'll pull it up on the screen um, we've got a little bit of splash going on there um, but like I say it is experimental but that is just basically the gist of it so let's try it again like I say different splashes you get different angles also you need a kitchen towel because it's obviously going to splash everywhere so what I'm going to do is try again pull the skateboard up let's do a couple shots right let's have a look now because uh see i think with the amount of liquid in i don't think the liquid's going very high let's go and have a let's have a quick look and just scroll through the pictures that's quite interesting there's an interesting one so yes yeah, just keep doing it um what i might do is just uh get these flash guns I'm going to put them to 164 each just to get a little bit more power and then we'll see what happens there as well so all right let's go let's see if it works with the video light on so all right let's have a look So I've got a nice big splash there. There we go. Uh, I think I'm um, giving it the extra power on the flash guns made it look a bit, a bit crisper on the light. So basically, it's just taking loads of these shots and just experimenting, perhaps higher up with a larger splash. Let's go and Photoshop and have a look at it and put it together and see what it looks like. See you in a sec. Right. So here I am in Photoshop. Um, I've got the two pictures open that I want to use but first of all I will say the importance of getting everything right in camera um, because the difference between the two shots where I rushed setting it up to fill a video and didn't secure everything properly um, and I've made it harder for myself because I have to do a little bit more processing to get the, the shots that I need you know to match them up in Photoshop so let me just show you. So there's the base image, uh, the glasses, and uh, here's the one with the liquid in. I've chosen this one. I had ones with liquid that are going up in the air, but I quite like this one where, for some reason, I don't know why it's going underneath between the glasses, which is quite interesting. Um, so first of all, what I've already done for each shot, I've just created the levels. Uh, layer and then I chose the white dropper and then I clicked an area that was darker to try and bring up the whites and match the whites in both images so let's just get rid of that so what I'm going to do is just select all on this image uh, copy it uh, go across to the base image and then paste that on top now I need to let me just show you. I'm just going to drop the opacity on this one and you can see the difference in the Im images uh, where like I said I didn't secure it so I've got to work a little bit harder for this so what I'm going to do is just uh, get the move tool and just line it up as best I can for now that looks as close as I'm going to get it there but I'm going to have to do some more sort of fine tuning 
as well. So what I'm going to do is get the selection tool and then uh, just select there, edit and then free transform for the warp tool and then I'm just going to try and get this as close as I can. This is going to be a rush job. There we go, so I just deselect that one, select this, this image. Like I say, if I've got this right on the table, I wouldn't be doing all this, trying to match this up. Uh, the shot you see at the very first on the intro, I did take my time on that shot, because the first time I ever tried it, and uh, I secured it, and I didn't have to do a lot of this uh, matching up, so, deselect, here we go, just need to select, let's just, uh, Select all that there. Warp tool. And obviously, if you get it right first time, it's all going to look much more natural as well. So let's just have a let's deselect that. Select, deselect tool. That's not far off and um, that'll do for now so what I'm going to do is um, just get on the shot I'm going to increase the opacity again then I'm going to create a layer mask for this um, I'm going to go control I invert the layer mask click the B for the brush tool um, and then I'm going to paint white onto the layer where the liquid was so let's just get the liquid back into the shot there we go there it is up on the glass there and it's just as simple as that let's say you spend a bit more time doing this you see it all this I'm just going to Get that in just to make it match. It looks like it's bending a bit. No, let's have a little look. Let's just get rid of that one. Just get rid of that line a bit more there. That, that'll do for now. So, so there we go. So I'm just going to flatten that image as well. Um, what I'm going to do is click the brush tool and I've got white already selected I'm just going to choose a little bit of a harder brush sort of medium I'm just going to paint over all this stuff let's just get rid of that and then you know you can spend a bit more time and just getting these lines right uh, there we go, let's, let's got rid of that as well like I said earlier if, um, if I had the glasses closer to the background I could have moved the camera up higher and now I've got more of the reflection in but also there's other things you can do if, you know you can spend a lot of time in Photoshop doing this you know you can always you know select part of an image like this you know if you really want to and then uh, copied it and then pasting it back in um, and we go to edit, uh, for transform, and then uh, we need to flip horizontal. I oh, know it's not there, right? Let's do it again. This right transform. What we're doing there? Flip. Let's try flip vertically. There we go. Sorry, that's me. Right, so and then what you could do is if you really wanted to, you could just uh, put that there. That's that done quickly. Flatten the image. There we go. So you can you know you could do it yourself. Make your own sort of mirrored image there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you how to change the color of liquid in each glass. Uh, there's a couple of ways to do it. You could choose a hue saturation and just change the colors of all of them. And then you can go control and invert the mask, brush, 
and we're going to paint white on black so we're going to press X to change our foreground to white and then you could just paint paint that in there like that it's just uh, let's just X just kind of layer mask X X just get rid of that there right also another way you can do it is uh, get the marquee tool uh, do a selection like this and then uh, go to image adjustments and then you can do hue saturation there All right, so let me just do this on another layer so really got it selected let's go on image adjustments and then hue saturation and then you can just choose the color you want let's go for a blue and then you can increase decrease the saturation and the lightness of it let's click OK we're going to put a layer mask on that one I'm going to do brush and we're going to paint black back onto the red there um, paint that back in on the layer mask and you do that so there's a couple of different ways you can do it also another way is you can actually choose from the master on the saturation you can just choose the reds or whatever color it is and then uh, you can just change the hue like that so there's three different ways to do that um, yeah so that's pretty much it I mean I did normally I don't spend as much time in Photoshop because I do like to get it right in camera but I did set up and rush to do this because I wanted to get a video out because I was ill a little while ago and I haven't got a video out for a while so I wanted to do that so so that's uh, the reason why it's a bit rushed but like I say get it right in camera um, secure uh, your ramp and everything down make sure the glasses are secured um, with these glasses what I did for the base shot I had blue tack underneath the glasses to stop you know to stop them sliding down take a shot and then I put gaffer tape on the glasses uh, to stop them sliding when uh, the skateboard goes down the ramp so that's that so let's have a look so let's just I'm just gonna add an eye pass filter as well what I normally do it's already set and click on hard light for the, the sharpness just going to quickly flatten the image to see if we just do it. There we go. Just, there, it's a bit of contrast as well there. And then, there we go. That's that's the image. So uh, there we go. As you can see, you can spend a bit of time just uh, going in with the uh, spot removal tool as well and things like that if you wanted to do. So spot removal tool, and you can just get rid and just tidy things up. Just get rid of things like. Uh, that spot there you know any drips if you're doing a lot of shots shots and you've got drips all over the glasses um, you can just use that spot removal tool just to tidy up and get rid of any drops from previous shots but yeah there's a few ways of putting that shot together it's as easy as that I uh, really hope you like this video if you did um, you know please leave a thumbs up um, especially you know see the effort that actually went into this shot uh, don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell for more uploads um, and I'll see you in the next video. Also just hold on for a few seconds and I'll just put in a couple of little clips of things that actually went wrong while I was doing the video as well. So yeah, have fun, be creative, you know, creative minds for creative photographers, that's what my channel is all about and uh, I'll see you in the next one, see you later, thank you. Screw more to the table. I should have called that splash, shouldn't I? <laughs> but yeah, securing more to the table, but you got the idea.